To a live look at DFW International Airport this morning, it is going to be another busy week there as millions of people get ready to travel for the 4th of July holiday. Our Natalie Haddad is live inside this morning. And Natalie, how are things looking right now? There's some people behind you. Hey, the perk about DFW International Airport is that there are so many security lines that you could go through, so many different terminals that right now it's not so busy. So we can't really speak for the rest of the airport, but for here, things are moving pretty quickly. You know, 32 million people, it's, it's a large number, and it's how many people TSA expects to travel across uh, the United States and abroad over the July 4th weekend. And lines across the United States started getting long this past weekend, and it's gonna, we're going to see the same this week going into this weekend as well. Now, according to TSA, we're going to see a 5.4% increase in travelers this year's Independence Day holiday. And that is record setting. We say that all the time, but it really is. And the numbers you'll see, it's not just by plane where numbers are going to be big. AAA expects 70.9 million Americans to travel at least 50 miles away from home. And if you're curious, that's nearly 6 million more travelers than pre-COVID time. So back to the security lines, we're only seeing wait times about two or three minutes, which hasn't really increased since we got here before 5 a.m., but we're gonna be here throughout the morning to see how that changes and fluctuates. If you are not flying out of DFW Airport, maybe you're headed to left field, we've got you covered on WFA.com. We have plenty of links that you could look at so that you can check your flight and see how things are looking on the roads here on WFA Daybreak with Tashara. But for now, I'll send it back to you in studio, Cleo.